Hey guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. I'm Greg and this is a 68 Vet with a 502 four speed, beautiful restoration and you're gonna love checking it out. So go to the website at vanguardmotorsales.com. We'll put it on the lift so you can check out the underside. We're gonna pop the hood, take a look at that 502. We're gonna get it out and drive it. We're gonna show you everything you need to see so you can make a great decision on your Corvette investment. So come on up, we'll fire this 502 up for you right now. So check this beauty out, man. The paint is amazing. I love this color blue. And that cowl hood, man, that looks good. They got the 502 emblems on it there. The chrome on the front bumper looks good. Just an amazing build on this car. The 502 really makes it. Great looking set of uh, period correct wheels and tires on it. T-tops. Doors operating nice and smooth. Door jams are nice and clean. All the upholstery looks brand spanking new, and there's that four-speed shifter that everybody can't wait to get a hold of. Take a look at the lenses on the gauges, the faces on the gauges, everything nice and neat. Just a beautiful car, and like I said, T-tops. Gotta get those T-tops off and take this baby for a drive. The paint is slick, the chrome's looking good, the trim on the tail lights is looking good, we're missing one ring here on this tail light. I'll make sure that gets replaced. All the rest of them look brand spanking new. That one came off, so we'll make sure we get a new one in there. The emblem looks good. When you look down the side of the car, she's straight as can be. Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we're not consignment dealers. That means we own this Corvette. So you can bet we spent the time to check it out before we bought it. Then when we get them back here to the shop, we inspect them so we can answer all your questions. So call Tom at 248-974-9513 and he can tell you all you need to know about this Corvette. Now I'm involved in buying every one of the cars here at Vanguard, so what that means to you is you're getting my 35 plus years of experience helping you pick out your dream car. this Corvette big block power four speed you guys are gonna have a blast now Tom can park this Corvette in your driveway no matter where you live in the world so just give him a call at 248-974-9513 and he will tell you just how easy it is to park this dream in your drive like I said big block power running great it's a 502 under the hood, driving straight, four speed feels great, driving awesome. Down here on the dash, everything appears to be working. The speedo works, the tack works, the gauges. It does look like it's got the uh, stock radio in it. Um, and it is coming on, I don't hear any music, but the radio is coming on. Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we can park this stream in your driveway, like I said, anywhere in the world. And we can also help you with financing if you need financing. No problem whatsoever. We got three bankers we work with on the financing. It only takes about a 15 minute phone call with the banker and this stream is in your drive. No problem whatsoever. If you'd like to fill out that app online, you can go to our website at vanguardmotorsales.com. And while you're at the website, make sure you check out all of our inventory. We got about 40 new cars coming in every month. We've always got something new coming in, something new and exciting. So make sure you check it out often. Follow us on YouTube. Check us out on Facebook. Look at our website often. You gotta keep a close eye on us. You'll never know what we might bring in tomorrow. Some days we get three or four new cars in, so check us often. 
Now, if you'd like to come inspect the car, we'd love to have you. We're right outside the Motor City. We're only 20 minutes from the airport. It's a quick ride from the airport. As a matter of fact, we'll even come down to the airport and pick you up. No problem whatsoever. If you'd like to drive in, we're here on Saturdays till 3 o'clock. Just call Tom. Let him know you're coming. We do have 80,000 square feet of indoor storage and over 220 uh, cars in stock at any one time. So it might take us a minute to dig out your favorite car. So make sure you call Tom, let him know you're coming so we can have your favorite car right up front where we can get at it. Hold on, we're gonna do some big block power here. Pull out the traffic here. Look at that. <laughs> we didn't even lose an inch on this guy. <laughs> That's what horsepower does right there. There's no replacement for displacement. I tell you what, this vet will get up and rock and roll. Now we're about to do something that nobody else in the industry does. We're gonna put this car up on the lift so you can check out the underside. All you guys know, the Corvette guys know all the picky spots that you need to check out. And if you don't know, I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to look at on these Corvettes. Make sure you get a good solid unit. Now we're coming up on our building here. We're at 15100 Keel Street, Plymouth, Michigan. Here's our building right here. So stick with us. We're gonna get this thing up in the air so you check out the underside. We're gonna pop the hood so you can check it out under the hood. We're gonna show you everything you need to see so you can make a great decision. All right, guys, uh, this is our 1968 Corvette that uh, Greg probably took you through most of the tour of this vehicle. I'm going to finish it off because Greg actually had to step out of the shop here. So on the bottom side of this thing, we've got a couple of things that makes it a little bit more hot roddy than a typical Corvette. So we do indeed have the uh, Holly Blue fuel pump here along with it's all piped in really nice here. They made some nice uh, custom steel lines for it. Brand new gas tank up here. Uh, something else I'd like to point out, it looks like the rear end of this car. They look so good when they're restored like this. Um, it looks like a, uh, a brand new, uh, I guess it would be a cover for the uh, rear differential, if you will. Uh, drive shafts are restored. Obviously, brand new U joints in the thing. Gas adjust shocks. All the bushings look like they're in good shape. We do have, it looks to be, uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is an aftermarket -y kind of type setup here uh, with the uh, fully adjustable lower arms here. Um, so, like I said, gas adjust shocks as well. Bushings are good. Sway bar back here looks great. Disc brakes in the back, but for a 1968, that would be standard. Um, all the fiberglass looks like it's in pretty good shape. The snubber here has all been done up really nice. You know, and all the bolts and uh, washers, so on and so forth, has been polished. Parking brake does look like it's been hooked up. Looks like some of the disc drive shaft as well, with brand new U-joints on either side of it, which is all good stuff. Frame on this thing looks like it's in excellent shape. Very minimal pitting and a very nice paint, uh, excuse me, paint job on it. As you can see, we do have a pretty nice exhaust system on the car. It looks to be very fresh. Um, we do have a little bit of a sportier uh, upgrade back here. It looks like a set of Flowmaster 40 series mufflers on it, or excuse me, 44 series probably more than likely. Uh, for transmissions, this is a Muncie M20. I do not believe it is numbers matching for the car. However, it is, uh, I forget what the year is on it. You'll have to check the story for that. Moving forward to that, this is going to be a typical style bell housing, just typical Chevy style bell housing, original type of Z-bar linkage, you know what I mean, so on and so forth, all good looking stuff. And here's where it starts to get kind of ridiculous. We've got these big massive primary tube headers. We do have a 502, this is the underside of our 502 that uh, is housed in the engine compartment of this car. And uh, it's, it's just obscene, it's hilarious. When, if you ever actually go to drive this thing, it's, it's quite a bit of fun. Power steering rack on this thing. We do have, uh, looks like all the bushings in the front end look to be pretty good. And of course, we, we fully go through this stuff. We inspect these things, we check them out. We take, we unload the ball joints and so on and so forth. Give them a good shake. Same thing with inspection of our brakes, uh, both front and back uh, disc, you know, of course, and they're the original type uh, GM discs. Um, we do have a uh, brand new whip hoses on it. Looks like upper and lower ball joints are not, or have been replaced as I've said. Um, looks like AC Delco shocks here in the front. Like I said, they get the gas adjust in the back. Overall, pretty nice build on the car, nice paint job on it. This doesn't appear to have any rot issues or anything like that, which is typical of the lower ends here. Another part of the Corvettes that do have the, uh, the rot issues is uh, back there on that lower cross member of the frame, which of course is in really good shape on this one. And that is, uh, once again, a good uh, spot to check for rot. Uh, underside of our aluminum radiator here, very, very nicely done. Overall, let's go take a look at wheels and tires. All right, guys, for rolling stock in the front, we have 235 60 R15s. 
We have the original type uh, wheel and uh, hub cap and beauty ring that would be on this car. It all looks like it's in pretty nice shape. And as far as the tread pattern goes, the tread wear looks like it's in good shape as well, which tells us the alignment is pretty proper on this car. Let's go take a look at the rear. All right, guys, back here we have a similar size, 230, I think it's the same size actually, 235-60 R15, which would be, uh, we've got the same good looking wheel and tire back here, same good looking beauty ring, hub cap, all of it's there. And uh, quite frankly, it's amazing that there's any tread left on this tire, considering how easily that this engine turns these tires over. But uh, all being said, they look to be pretty much new. And uh, I guess we get to look at the, uh, the real trophy under the hood, the 502. Okay, guys, under the hood is the most ridiculous uh, addition to this car that uh, I've seen yet here. So we have a 502 uh, GM crate motor making a ton of horsepower, even more torque, and it is absolutely hilarious in this little lightweight vet. Um, you could probably put a set of drag slicks on this thing and it still wouldn't hold it. This thing is just an absolute riot to drive. A um, little more in depth with it is uh, it does look to be a little modern, of course it's a GM crate motor so it's a little bit more modern style block. Um, now this block has uh, four bolt mains, uh, if I'm not mistaken it's a one piece rear main seal. Overall just you know more modernized than your typical old school Chevy uh, big blocks that would be in this thing from back in the day. Of course aluminum GM cylinder heads and aluminum GM intake manifold. On top of that aluminum GM intake manifold we have a pro-formed 850 CFM carburetor which is a pretty darn nice carburetor, basically it's a Holley 4150. Um, but because Proform's made it, it does have um, billet metering blocks, uh, if I'm not mistaken, screw in air bleeds. Electric choke, of course, it being a mechanical secondary, down leg boosters, which is always good. Um, just, you know, definitely a more so performance piece. Um, now, some, one uh, thing I'm going to mention about the ignition system here is we do have a, a GM HEI distributor here. Now, we actually have uh, on order, and it's on its way here now, is a uh, original more so type distributor for this engine. Um, and that mainly is because the tachometers in these are a, like a, almost like a speedometer cable drive tachometer system. Uh, so what we actually plan on doing is uh, installing an original type distributor in this. That way we can get our tachometer working in here for you as well because that's always just good information to have. Um, outside of all of that, nice chrome valve covers, you know, I mean, nice air cleaner on it. Big old beefy radiator in this thing with electric fans. You don't have the shroud and all that other crap in your way. Uh, now, you heard me mention underneath that the uh, front end uh, components all look like they were relatively fresh and that continues to be uh, the case up here. Same thing with here, I'll even lift this up for you, you can see here. Looks like the, all the bushings look like they're in good place, nothing's puking out over here at all. Put our uh, little flat back down. Uh, of course we do have, looks like our overflow tank is here as well. Uh, all the vacuum lines actually look to all be there. We have all of our, our uh, windshield wiper tank is all under here. It looks like even all the hoses are here. Typically you don't see that, especially with cars that have been heavily modified. Overall, pretty nice little ride, and uh, for the record, these are on thermostatic control, um, so there is no switch that you're going to need to flip. Um, something else I'd like to mention, too, is uh, underneath the car, I didn't know the year of the transmission. The transmission actually is a 1968 transmission. Um, it is not numbers matching for the car, but it is very much so period correct, uh, Muncie M20. Um, and outside of that, the gear ratio is a three point, right around like a 3.4, somewhere in that neighborhood. You Corvette guys will probably correct me on that and give me the exact number, but... Overall, pretty nice car, very streetable, all things considered, um, and just an absolute riot to drive with all the torque. If you'd like to have this monster parked in your driveway, make sure to call Tom with the number below on that Vanguard Motor Sales Park, this beast, in your driveway.